Now, if you're coming to First Night, the city's urging people to dress appropriately. Paramedics and EMTs will be on hand to help with any health-related issues. And as with any big crowds in an event like this, police will be there to help with security. The first night family tent has already been set up along with some portable heaters and the city has put out a reminder that it's important to bundle up and dress appropriately for frigid temperatures. Claire Poor from West Newton admits the cold might keep her and her family away this year. I'm not sure about this year. It seems like an especially cold year, especially for the kids, so I don't know. While some events have been moved indoors, including the popular parade with giant puppets, First Night's director says personnel will be ready for any emergencies involving the cold or anything else. We will have a medical team on, on site. We also have the new police substation that um, has opened right next to the Fairmont Hotel. That'll be open all night. As for security, one tactic they'll employ is something we've seen at previous first nights and other city events. Dump trucks filled with sand to protect streets filled with pedestrians. Also, expect to see police in the crowd, some in uniform, but others in plain clothes and in places you might not expect. The city says surveillance cameras will also be monitored. The public safety director says they'll have a zero tolerance when it comes to people's safety. Our um, trust security team works really closely with the city. Um, to make sure that everybody is very, very safe. Um, we're taking all you know, necessary precautions and um, everyone should feel really good about coming down. Well, the official countdown to 2018 will be held outside at the Highmark stage. If you can't make it into town, be sure to tune in to KDKA. Our first night special airs live Sunday night. Christine D'Antonio and I will be here to usher in the new year and we hope you'll join us.